Hello everyone, WolfieCast here, back with another Hero Basics video where I take a hero and tell you what their abilities do. No upgrades, no talents, just as it comes. This time featuring Charnock. Now Charnock is a ranged damage dealing hero uh, with the tags Caster. So what casters are, as opposed to just the normal ranged DPS, casters have high impact or high damage value on their other abilities instead of just their basic abilities, or their, rather their basic uh, left mouse button. But before we get into that, let's go over his uh, really quick stats. Uh, Charnock has 2000 health and 15 armor, so he actually has much higher uh, health than your typical average person of this role. Uh, so he's a bit bulkier than normally people would expect. Uh, other than that, he kind of basically has the same rules as any lightly armored hero, uh, 15 in the front and slightly less armor if you were to strike him from the back. But let's get into his abilities, starting with the left mouse button. Left mouse button is called Fireball, which is basic attack. You just hold and it shoots a projectile, or you can uh, charge it up and it shoots a slightly, a slightly stronger projectile. So on impact, deals 150 damage in a small radius. And then on the second charge, deals 225 damage in a slightly bigger radius. Now, if I were to aim at uh, Nasus over there, and I just tap my left mouse button, striking, doing damage just as expected. However, uh, if I were to hold it down, you see as Charnock has kind of that larger wind up with his uh, right arm holding back his staff, and then I let go, the fireball is bigger and it does more damage. Now, you can see when it's fully charged and kind of release early, there's a sound cue that comes along with it, kind of like this small, it sounds almost like an engine rev to me, but once that once that rev comes, then you can release and sh throw your fireball. Now, what the spell description, what the ability description does not tell you is that the higher charge ability actually has a faster trajectory, slightly faster tra uh, trajectory, but it also flies further. So attacking Gnosis, I can hit him. But that Motiga over there, if I just use my level one, most of these attacks don't actually reach him from where I'm standing. But if I hold down and charge it, it reaches him. No problem. So this is a, this is a kind of example of what that is. And again, just the basic charge or even like a partial charge. It, remember that it doesn't charge a level 2 until you actually fill that bar entirely. Another thing to bring up about Fireball as well is that the area of effect damage is actually slightly less uh, depending on the distance from the point of impact. So, you know, I saw I showed you earlier that hitting Gnosis here with the Fireballs is about 120 damage per hit. But if I don't hit him directly, if he's still in the area, it's doing much less damage. Like, even, even as low as half or less, uh, depending on how far he is from the point of impact. You see, that one does 57. Slightly closer. Oop, I'm, I'm not letting it reset. There we go. 63 damage. Slightly closer. But uh, the direct impacts still do full damage. And this counts for the uh, charge shots as well. So that one did almost 200. But if I kind of land it at his feet, only about 105. So... It, it all depends, but this is important to know because uh, if you're not hitting enemies directly with the fireball, you are still doing damage to them, but they are going to be taking noticeably less damage because they're not getting hit directly. Moving on, we're going to go to his right mouse button now, which is called Dragon's Breath. Uh, if you hold the right, down the right mouse button up to three seconds, uh, it deals 35 damage per second, or not 35 damage per second, 35 damage per tick of damage, which I believe it can tick up to 15 times in total. Uh... And it does uh, damage to everyone kind of in this frontal, kind of conic, conical shaped area of effect just in front of you. Yeah, slight, slight conical shape, just an area in front of you. But you see as you hold it down, uh, it does damage over time to everyone that's kind of in that space in front of you. A pretty decent range, all things considered. I don't think it reaches from here, but if I move closer, then yeah, I start hitting them. So about this distance is when you can start hitting somebody. Um, and it's not, it's not blockable by the, by the front, you know, it's not just going to hit the on, only the person that's directly in front. It'll hit everyone kind of in that space. Uh, another thing on the spell description, it does say that the cooldown does increase the longer that you hold it. So if I just briefly tap it and do like three or four instances of damage, cooldown's only about eight seconds. 
But if I wait for it to come back and then I hold it down for the full duration and do that full damage, cooldown goes all the way to 13 seconds. So I would not really say personally that there's really a reason to not do the full breath duration if you can, just because it's like it's just does more damage. Um, the cooldown is not super significant to be a problem. Um, honestly, <laughs> honestly, if I really get into it and I'll get I'll get further into it with the Charnock deep dive. But the right mouse button is typically more of a defensive kind of ability. And that's in upgrades themselves. And we'll get into that as I go in uh, as I go to that video. But for now, that's what the right mouse button does. All right. Up next, we've got Charnock's Q, which is called detonate. Uh, you press Q, you jump high in the air, and you deal damage and slightly push away enemies that are near you when you use the ability. So, I run up to Nasus, kind of pushes him upwards, does about 200 damage. Uh, after armor, it does 170 to Nasus, and it goes on a pretty long cooldown of, of 12 seconds. Which is not, it's not terrible, but uh, this is his only mobility. It's, it's great for the height. Uh, and it's also like directional for forward or backwards. So when I did it just now, it kind of popped me up and it did like a slight forward trajectory. But if I were to hold forward and use Q, I actually go a lot further. And this also uh, works for going backwards. It does not work for left and right. So keep that in mind. It's only kind of in place or forward or backwards. But to show the backwards, press Q again. Have that big hop backwards. So really good for kind of disengaging yourself. Uh, really good for kind of getting to higher ledges if you need to. And uh, it's an, another thing about this to kind of share is it has a fixed trajectory. So it's all entirely dependent on where you cast it. So say if I'm here and I want to actually get up there. If I cast from the ground level, I can't reach it. I don't go that high. But if I go all the way back around, wait for the cooldown again. And then kind of stand here, wait a couple seconds. I can actually jump ahead, like kind of jump higher and then use my Q. And then I can reach the ledge, no problem. So important thing to know, if you're very desperate to get to a higher point of ground, uh, jump first, then use your Q and it'll work better. Uh, also, the Q does not stop you from, like it doesn't prevent you from using other abilities. So if I go ahead and Q while I'm flying, I can use my left mouse button. And uh, very easily enough, just kind of get yourself out of dodge and also do a little bit of damage along the way. So long as you're, you know, aiming properly, of course. Tarnok's last basic ability is E, which is called Hot Hail. Uh, it bombards the target area, a small radius for four seconds, applies burning damage over time every second for anyone that is in that area of effect with a 15 second cooldown. So you hold down E, you see this targeting area, fairly large fairly good casting range kind of i can target that motiga right over there if i get a little bit closer but you let go of the e it creates this area of effect rains down coals does damage every second to anyone that's in that space and it is considered a debuff it's not actually damage <laughs> it's not actually like damage from the ability itself it is considered a burn so uh, this does mean that if they are currently immune to uh, like immune to certain status effects, they actually are not affected by this ability at all. So important to keep in mind, but does do a steady good amount of damage over time. And you can very easily use this while you're throwing down, you know, your left mouse button. Fire to walk forward and then just kind of, you know, wait for the cooldown, get over here, throw down hot hail, dragon's breath at the same time. Doing a pretty significant amount of damage over a short duration. Finally, Charnock's focus, which is called Flame On. All right, uh, he targets a, a long line area in front of him that erupts in flame. It knocks up enemies that are in the space. Uh, it does not interrupt them. I don't know why it says interrupt. I guess technically it interrupts if they are doing something that requires them to stand still, but it does not actually apply the interrupt status. Uh, but it applies a one second burn on impact and then enemies that are inside the space will take burning damage per second. So per rank, uh, the initial damage increases as well as the burning per second damage. Starting at 300 impact, 450 impact, and then 600 impact at th uh, rank 3. And then the burn damage is 150, 175, and 200 per second at rank 3. So to show that, pretty large area of effect 
in this space, all honestly, very wide, very long. Uh, and then once you let go, small delay, burst of flame, and those three spaces will apply that burning so long as they remain inside. And you can see they got launched, or not launched, I'm sorry, they got knocked up because launch is different. Uh, they got knocked up in the space and uh, they take some impact damage as well as burning. So Flame On is probably one of the flashiest ults in the game. Um, I think most of its impact comes just from the initial damage. And then the zoning potential is helpful, but typically the ult does not do too, or the focus does not do too much damage uh, in the long run. So it's very clear that Charnock is very good at dealing area of effect damage. Uh, every single ability has at least some small area of effect. So it's really good at, you know, punishing those that are kind of clumped together. Uh, and of course, this does mean that he pairs very well with people that can keep the enemy locked down in place, like Margrave or Paco. And yeah, Charnock just does a lot of damage. That's that's what he's here to do. He's here to just melt faces, do tons of damage, and he's really good at it. And the fact that he's also pretty, like, he's very uh, bulky, despite the fact that he's a full mage caster type with even his own mobility skill. Like, he's very good. But that is everything about Charnock's basic kit. So, if you enjoyed this, please make sure to like and share. Uh, and I hope that it was helpful and informative. Uh, be sure to be on the lookout for incoming new videos, uh, other hero basics, as well as a deep dive into Charnock as I go over his upgrades and a couple of the builds. Uh, but that is everything. Thank you for watching. Have a good day and see you on the next one.